I'm Peyton, and I'm a senior. I'm Riley, I'm a freshman. And I'm Leah, and I'm a senior, and we're all from Westside. Warriors! And this poem is called Diaries from the Locker Room. Everyone knows the feeling of a horrible high school gym class. Take laughs for dodgeball. And first to get knocked out. Makeup smearing. Tears running. Just generally a bad, bad time. But worst of all, located in the whorehouse of every high school, the, the locker room. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, my very own fun house of mirrors. But instead of stretching me tall or squishing me flat, these, these mirrors, mirrors show me the truth. Nothing has ever been so frightening as the lack of my ability to wing my eyeliner and send lip lined duck faces towards a bodiless judge waiting on the other side. What, what have, have I been taught to think? think about the slouch of my tummy, about the cracks in my lips? When did a square inch of fat on my thighs begin to scare me into long sleeve shirts and baggy sweats? When did something as silly as a reflection send me tripping over red linoleum into perfume puddles of shame? When, when did, did I, I begin, begin to look, look in the mirror and hate what I see? The person staring back at me is so different from what they expect. I don't understand why anyone needs bling on their butt or why a clothes tag should cost more than my car payment. As is, I can barely do laundry, flinching away whenever anyone stands next to me because I'm worried about if I smell and if not, when I will. I count quarters while my classmates crush candy, waiting out the time to the next trip to the laundromat. It's not that they look ugly, it's, it's just that, that I, I can't, can't have it. Maybe they were born with it, maybe it was money, but looking in the mirror, all I can see is an outsider. Glancing back in my confused reflection, I rush into the female changing rooms I was forced into. But when, when it, it comes, comes to swimming class, class, I make excuses about my makeup or <clears throat> fake a cough rather than face a judgmental giggle to the girls who just don't get it. When I tell myself it doesn't matter what gender they think I am, I pretend to believe it until the whistle blows. Walking to the pool feels like a death sentence and my stomach drops. Along with my towel, I hear whispers and jokes about <laughs> Congratulations, it's a girl. And I shamefully pull my towel back over me. I was, I was never cut out for sports anyway. And it's not like the locker room's a fantasy filled with girls who have no real understanding of why I wouldn't want to see them with their top off and I get it. Not, not everyone, everyone thinks about queerness. queerness. Honestly, I could probably sneak a peek pretty safely, but, but even the thought, thought disgusts me. Girls are not candy or something you buy at the 99 cent store they're people. Shoved like sweaty, smelly sardines into a tin can of lockers and old laundry waiting until the bell is ringing. Could it be? Could, Could the, the ending, ending of this horror story be as simple as waiting for the scent of pricey perfume to clear? Until it's time to open your eyes and enter the outside. It is time to duck out of the bathroom stalls. Tighten your too big tank top. It's, it's time, time to keep counting, counting the days, days till graduation. graduation.